Hey there everybody, welcome back to Jack and Daxter with the Precursor Legacy. This is Spiraling Helix. In the last episode, we made our way through the lost Precursor City and got electrocuted quite a few times. But in this time, we are going to deal with that big funky balloon over there, over in the boggy swamp. But first of all, I can't believe I missed this. These, the amount of times I've come up here. But there it is, another scout fly, and if you have sharp eyes, you might have just seen where the last one is, but that's okay, because it's on the way to the boggy swamp anyway. So I will just quickly make my way over there. Uh, apparently you can't go over those boxes. Okay, actually, I was going to make a comment, but I'm terrible at going across these platforms without going in the water. And if you go in the water even a tiny bit... No, 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 That! That right there! Go away! It really comes after you on this bit, like, the game wants you to pay to bring these bridges out. Because... That like a shark will not leave you alone, but with that, we haven't even gotten into the main area that we're exploring, and we have a power cell! 56 of the things, in fact. Anyway, though, welcome to the boggy swamp where it suddenly starts raining. Which is about time, there's been a whole lot of lightning in Rock Village. I was wondering where the rain is. And we have. Oh, okay. I thought Daxel was gonna talk there. It's th this is the first time we see Yellow Eco, I think. Anyway though, Yellow Eco! Basically, it lets us shoot fire blasts from our hands and do Hadoukens! Yeah, but pretty much you get a fire blasts out of your hands and I'm gonna grab some more because I love this thing a whole lot. Yellow Eco is so much fun. Not only does, like, it tends to stick to the ground, but it will home in on a few things. Especially if you do a jumping attack. And you... Uh, I'll show it off here, actually. This is a perfect place. Seeing as Eco respawns the moment that the bit you grabbed has been used up. If you stay in Yellow Eco, it will be unlimited. And this will, like, you could just use it as a first-person blaster thing. Which is great. And, are they boxes over there that I've missed? Oh, they're, they're boring boxes. Now in Boggy Swamp, we're going to see quite a few things of Yellow Eco that will especially help destroy some metal crates that are in the swamp. And you'll see that accompanied with a lot of Blue Eco to grab, you know, the things, the metal things break and all that. Anyway, got some rats here. And where's the thing? There's a thing here, isn't there? There is not a thing here. I only came there for a scout fly. Okay, there are quite a few of those jump pads, so I'm probably gonna get confused as to which ones are which. Ah, uh, but this is what I was thinking we would see in there. We have this weird nest thing that... that keeps spawning those weird rat things, and destroying all of them in the level will net you a power cell. I don't think they respawn, at least if you hit a checkpoint after destroying them, they won't. And how do I... Do I need yellow... Okay. I was so confused. I need yellow eco to get to the yellow eco. Now this is actually one of the very few yellow eco vents in the game. I believe there's only three of them that we actually walk into. Did you see that? Only three more tethers to go! That's right, three tethers. Each one of them gives me a power cell, not one for getting that funky balloon thing to disappear. Each one gives me a power cell. Like, if I look at my power cells, it straight up tells me what five of them are from the get-go. And we only need to find three of them, really, because of that. 
And like I said earlier, one of them is from... Please tell me I got that. Ah, oh, my goodness. This is like the worst power. Precursor orb in the game. There we go. Okay. But yeah, this is like one of three yellow eco vents. And which is like pretty darn rare, actually. And the other... Oh, spikes. The other ones that we will end up running into are actually closed off, I think. But, thankfully, the yellow eco even destroys the dark eco crates from a distance. We are still below the road to smithereens without getting killed ourselves. And I believe we do need yellow eco to destroy this. Yes, we do. If I can avoid, like, keeping... Oh, now I need blue eco. Ah! So much eco, it's so confusing. Anyway, there we go. Nice jump. And I wouldn't really worry too much about carrying the different colored eco great distances like in other places. Just because you tend to be switching between them so often. And I hate these jumps. Okay. There's more of them though. I'm just bad at those jumps. And... Oh hey, I got a health refill! <laughs> Oh, hey, another health refill. Big one. They're pretty rare, too. Okay. Almost done. Okay. First set of jumps done. And let's just break that from all the way over here. It balloon tether number two down. Three remain. Wow! Only two. Three? I saw three ropes. Oh, wait, no. One of the ropes is pulling up the weird precursor stuff that the Lycos are after. So it's the three, two remain. Whatever Daxter said there was. Anyway, we have these weird bird things. I didn't really, bird things, bat thing? Are they, I'm gonna call them bats. Anyway though, they're not a big deal as long as you don't actually run up to them because they will hurt you quite a bit. Don't do that. And we are going in that direction, so let's go in this direction and grab these orbs everywhere. And I think I got them all. It's worth double checking if you got every orb because it's pretty easy to miss the orbs in the mud. I didn't want to get hit there, but oh well. I'm going pretty good with health actually. Boggy Swamp is one of the few places that actually gives you quite a bit of health. Be careful with those crates, by the way. They really like to blow you up. Look out, Jack! It's an ambush! Ambush number two! This is our second ambush. Not as many enemies this time. And we have yellow eco as opposed to red eco. As you can see, Yellow Eco is way better than Red Eco. Oh, if I can keep it. Like, you can just run back and forth and not have to worry at all about enemies. It's it's amazing. I love y Yellow Eco. It's great. And if they get close, like, you're going to hit them with a blast. Yeah. And with that ambush over, not only do we get a power cell, we get this. Blue Eco. There is the weird precursor robot they're trying to pull out of the swamp with the giant big dirigible. At least that's what Samos calls it, but it's a... I don't know what a dirigible is. I know what a balloon is. And it's a big funky balloon. And now, jumping over here, here is yet a... Uh, I need yellow eco. Yellow eco. Let's destroy the nest before we destroy the rock. There we go. And get that health, just because I can. I don't know how that blew up the rock, but I'm gonna take it. That dirigible's barely hanging on! One tether remains for that dirigible balloon thing. And now we're going to not go off. Oh my goodness, Jack. He really likes that bit of wood. Let's jump over here! And I saw a very flashy thing in the top right that wasn't a jump pad. 
Plus, there's a lot of... Don't, uh, I hate those drugs. There's a lot of these metal crates. We... Oh, there is yellow weaker. Never mind, we can break it. Hey, there's the flip flap. Yeah. <laughs> However, we also have the flop flop bird thing. What is going on with my voice? Anyway, though, this flop flop bird, we can finally use it. Use it. Oh my goodness. I feel so sorry. It, him, her, I don't know what it is. What gender a fluff this fluff flood is, but I didn't mean to be mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, though, this flood. I totally missed some precursor orbs up there, didn't I? And shortcuts. And only one. Okay. It's it, it was still an orb. The fluff flood is great. It has a nice double jump. It feels amazing to ride too. It's got two attacks. It's got a charge. And a dive. The dive kind of homes in, although not really. Sadly though, once I get this power cell, that's really it for the Flut Flut, at least here. We will see Flut Flut again. Good work! Aren't you guys happy you saved our little Flut Flut friend? She may come in handy again sometime. Now, go back to the trans pad and I'll bring her home. Yes, unfortunately, that's it for the Flut Flut. It doesn't last very long, but hey, I'll take it, because man, it's by far the best controlling thing in this game, excluding probably the jump attacks. Like, those attacks can get a little bit weird. Oh, swamp, swamp. Ah. Okay, I didn't quite destroy all the Dark Eco crates, but I got most of them. Which I'm pretty happy with. And... We just have this weird bit of... Whoa, that was close. Bit of water here. No orbs or anything. It's just... Here. Anyway, though, I think we are coming round towards the... End! Apparently spikes don't hurt. Towards the end of the boggy swamp. So let's talk to this person here. Howdy, friends. Enjoying my beautiful swamp? I own these here parts. Everything that doesn't sink into the mud, that is. <laughs> Judging by the smell, I'd wager your bathtub sank in the mud long ago. What's a bathtub? Anyway, I got bigger problems now. Seems some nasty lurker varmints are grousing about, snatching everything they can get their grubby little paws on, and scaring away my pet hip hog, Farley. He's been missing for nigh on to a coon's age. I've been putting out his favorite snack, but those ornery swamp rats keep stealing them. If you could keep those pesky critters away long enough, I just know Farley will smell them vitals and come back. Will you help me out? Yes, we have a kind of mini game sort of thing. He's gonna. Good. Those rats will be back any time. Shoot all them rats. Keep him from eating at least one of them snacks. So he's gonna keep talking quite a bit. That's what that little bit of yellow eco we saw back there was. That's where we are standing as we shoot these rats. Unfortunately, though, the yellow eco loses its homing ability in this minigame. Thankfully, all these wooden posts that are around actually don't really get in the way. Now, we do have to protect each and every one of these bits of food. These riddles, or whatever this guy would call him. And, okay, these pillars do get in the way, but only if you hit them, like, straight on. If you're hitting them and, like, you'd only hit the side, then it's pretty much fine. But, yeah, just keep mashing the button and you'll pretty much be fine as long as you Keep your eyes open to the left and right. Now, I just want to bring to attention that cutscene back there. I love... I don't think I've talked about it enough, guys, but the voice acting and the animation in this game. This is a pretty old game now, and it's aged so well. Like, I seriously love the animation, and the, the humor's like... 
It's very dry and sort of kind of young humor, but it's actually still funny. Well, from on, you sure know how to shoot. Thanks a heap for the help. Like, I'm not one for stereotypes, but that line going like, what, what's a bathtub? I just love that. Also, here's that little creature that he has. It, the creature's even got its own little hat. That's probably something a lot of guys don't, well, a lot of you might not see, is this creature, actually. You only see it here, and you probably don't care once you finish the minigame and get your power, so you're like, okay, I'm done here, moving on. But there's Yellow Eco around here, isn't there? Yes, there is. Gotta kill these rats. I believe there's only one or two more nests. Or it could be like three all in a row, but we'll get to that in a bit. And these spikes. Wow. Oh my goodness, these spikes. Quick, destroy the things. I'm gonna have to grab more Rico. And I think I get the feeling these spikes can only actually hurt me if they're coming up where I'm above. Because, like, I jumped on them before and it didn't hurt. Anyway, no, destroy all the boxes! This is the most fun I've ever had, destroying boxes. Like, those dark eco boxes, it feels so good to get revenge on <laughs> Dong. I just love how much... Like, the animation really stands out in this game. Especially for how old it is, like, good job, Naughty Dog. Why can't you go back to doing games that aren't realistic, please? I mean, I know Uncharted is highly popular, but still, there's, there's this sort of thing, it's missed. Like, just look at all the indie games coming out lately. Like, people are going back to these old games. Please, Naughty Dog, another game! Maybe not another Jack and Daxter one, actually, now that I think about the sequels. But, if I make my way up here, and usually I destroy that rock before going up here, and hey, that doesn't move in the cutscene. Bye bye, balloon. Good work, Jack. Good work, Jack. He's gonna tell you that again. Because we grabbed the power cell. No? Oh my goodness, I just skipped that text entirely. Or well, that speech. Um, basically, good work. The Lycos will never get that statue. I wonder what they're trying to dig it up for. It's something along those lines. Anyway, though. Here's a nice image of that Lurker statue before you actually destroy any of the tethers as that statue does go down more and more into the water the more tethers you break, which is a nice detail. Unfortunately, you don't see it before that. Oh well though, there you go. Online images and on that. Thank you, Google, you make everything so much easier. And now we are back at the beginning of Boggy Swamp. I thought you get a thing for destroying those... ...things, but I guess not. Like, breaking the weird rat things, I guess you don't. And with that, that is Boggy Swamp complete. We've done it guys, Boggy Swamp is complete. And the only thing left to do in Rock Village Apart from, you know, go up and deal with that weird monster throwing the flaming boulders down into Rock Village. We still need to go see that pre precursor statue to get those two power cells. No, 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 no. <laughs> Anyway, to get the two power cells that he's keeping from us for more orbs than they should be worth. So let's. Head right over here. There he is. Let's uh, not fall in the water and talk. Beware of the dark light, for it has twisted the fate of one of you. 
bring me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Sure thing. I don't care what you're saying because it's the same boring text. But yes, the dark light has tainted one of us. I don't know how you can have dark light, or if I misheard that. But Daxter was indeed tainted by the dark light. That is our goal of the game, actually, to turn Daxter back to normal in case you have forgotten because this is just a fun 3D platformer and it's very easy to forget that sort of thing. But with that guys, we have done everything around Rock Village 100%, all the orbs and all the cells, you know the whole gist of things. So next time guys, we will take on that vicious monster up there with the flaming boulders. This has been Spiraling Helix, I'll see you guys next time everybody, bye bye.